Hi, I'm Matthew with Ashbury Precision Ordnance. I wanted to take the time today to go over our TAC-3 tactical tripod system. Here we have it in the hard transit case. Start by undoing the latches. That, open that up, which reveals the soft carry case. Remove that from the hard transit case. And set your hard transit case off to the side. Now that you have your soft carry case out for the tactical tripod kit, start by pulling the drip rings up until you can access the double zippers, opening those up all the way around until they stop. It will now allow you access to your tactical tripod kit. Here we have the TAC-3 GP tripod, the tactical interface mount TIM, which is stowed beneath the tripod mount your laser interference filter, your ARD anti-reflective filter, your AMPBS 14 monolock night vision adapter, and the Leupold Mark IV 12 to 40 by 60 millimeter spotting scope. I'll start now by removing the GP tripod from its case, setting that on the table, the TIM tactical interface mount, Start by removing the base plate by opening up the lock on the top of the tripod head and pulling the base plate from the tripod. Take the tactical interface mount and insert the quarter twenty screw for the base plate into the hole. You can use a flathead allen key or a quarter to tighten the base plate up until it's snug. Remove the spotting scope with your left hand. Take your right hand with the tactical interface mount. This quarter 20 here, thread, goes into the bottom of the spotting scope. Go ahead and tighten it down using the bail wire nut, making sure that it's secure. And it's not loose. Now you can take the GP tripod, open up the locking mechanism, insert the base plate at the rear of the tripod head and rotating it forward. Take the lock and make sure it's pushed securely closed. And now your spotting scope and tactical interface mount are now attached to the top of the GP tripod. The adjustments you have for that are this bottom knob here, which is the first mass that will go up. And then you have a second adjustment in height to go up. You have a pan feature that will go 360 degrees all the way around, like so. Then you have a vertical adjustment here, which you can loosen that up. So you can move it up and down, and then once you get to the desired location, you can tighten that in place keeping it firm. So go ahead and drop it back down in height and I'll show you how to put the other pieces we have in the tactical tripod kit together. Starting with the laser interference filter, carefully thread this into the objective of the spotting scope. Be careful not to cross thread it as they are fine threads. And we'll put that on snugly. Then taking your ARD anti-reflective device will also screw into the front of the laser interference filter using the same set of very fine threads, so be careful not to cross thread. Once that's on, that is ready to go. Now you have the laser interference filter and the ARD anti-reflective filter attached to your spotting scope system. The next item that you have in here is the monolock night vision interface adapter, which will go on to the eyepiece here. Start by undoing the cams on both ends. It'll have a rubber insert to securely go over the eyepiece. Make sure it's pushed all the way on and then push the cam over to lock it into place. Here we have our AMPVS 14 night vision monolock, or mono, 
and we'll, we'll insert that in the rear of the eyepiece very carefully sliding that on rotating it down so you can lock that into place and now you're ready for night vision operation now that your tactical tripod kit and spotting scope are set up for night vision use you can also additionally attach a AMPQ 15 laser illuminator and pointer onto the top Picatinny rail of the tripod, like so. Or it could be mounted over on the right side of the tripod, like this, which now allows you to have a laser illuminator attached for enhanced night vision capabilities. Now that your tactical tripod kit is set up for night vision and night operations, you, we have here the Storm multifunction laser that also has the Ashbury Precision Ordnance quick detach mount on the bottom of it, which can be attached both at the top of the Picatinny rail on top, locking that in place, allows you to have it there. Now that we have it all configured for night operations, we're going to go ahead and disassemble this and show you some of the other features of the tripod. Your Storm multifunction laser, the ARD anti-reflective device, the laser interference filter, LFU, remove your PVS-14 by undoing the monolock, setting that to the front the other lock to remove the adapter, set that on the table. Then you can unlock the tripod head which will allow you to remove the tactical interface mount and the spotting scope assembly is one. If you did not want to use the tripod in its standard configuration, this can also be used as a monopod with a ground spike to drive it into the ground for stability. Table. Ground spike goes through the nut and screws back into the top. Like so. And that gives you the capability of going from a prone position to a sitting position. just that easy.